Hello students, in this session I am bringing you three more questions uh, from JE Advanced 2021 paper. These questions are memory based, so we are not very sure of the exact language or the data can also be slightly different, but the concept is going to be similar. So these three questions are from the physical chemistry side. Uh, two questions are based on this paragraph. Uh, this is a paragraph from uh, molar, this uh, conductance, uh, electrolytic conductance. It's a, it's a part of electrochemistry. Um, the paragraph was at 298 Kelvin limiting molar conductivity of weak uh, monobasic acid is equal to 4 into 10 power plus 2. So this is at infinite dilution. And at 298 Kelvin molar conductivity of solution of a particular solution is y into 10 power 2. So uh, this is uh, limiting molar conductivity that data is given and at a particular concentration this conductivity is equal to this much and this solution is diluted to 20 times then the conductivity becomes 3 times because of the let us say uh, more number of ions getting produced. So we can uh, see that the value of molar conductivity has become 3 times so y into 10 power plus 2 and this is 3 y. So the degree of dissociation must have must become 3 times then only it is going to be so. If alpha is the degree of dissociation of the weak acid then answer the following questions. So uh, this is a question from electrochemistry electrolytic conductance. Now the value of alpha uh, that we can calculate with the help of this that alpha is equal to lambda m of the electrolyte at given concentration upon lambda m of the electrolyte at infinite dilution. So this ratio is going to give us the value of alpha. So in this question this lambda m naught or lambda m infinity is given to us. This is lambda m naught, lambda m naught infinity and lambda m at a particular concentration is also given to us. So this is known to us, lambda m at C concentration that is also known to us. So by taking this ratio we can calculate the value of alpha definitely the alpha is going to be in terms of y. So this ratio is going to be from this two, these two data this ratio is y upon 4. So now we get the relation between y and alpha. Now after diluting it 20 times the conductivity has become 3 times that is because of increase in the uh, degree of dissociation of the weak monovisic acid. So now at newer concentration the value of alpha will be 3 alpha. So uh, let us say we can say that this is going to be 3 alpha but that is not going to give us new data. So what we can do we can calculate the value of Ka of the weak acid that is C alpha square upon 1 minus alpha. So this is the idea that at initial concentration which we can take to be C1 and the value of alpha is known to us this is equal to K and when we have diluted it to 20 times then the concentration will become uh, C1 by 20. So this is C1 upon 20 and the value of alpha that is going to become 3 alpha, 3 alpha square upon 1 minus 3 alpha. So this is going to be the equation with the, which, with the help of which we can calculate the value of alpha and then with the value of alpha we can calculate the value of y. So this question definitely is involving uh, a bit of calculation also and we have to think of using this relation that the value of Ka of the weak monobasic acid is going to remain same. So doing this calculation will get the answer. So the value of alpha we have to do the calculation. So one question was calculation on the value of calculation of the value of alpha degree of dissociation and second question based on this paragraph is the value of y. What is the value of y? So these two can be solved by solving the equations which I already have formed. Uh, this is the solution lambda m naught of the weak acid is equal to this lambda m at C1 concentration is equal to this. So alpha degree of dissociation is lambda m C upon lambda m naught that is y upon 4. This is one relation which I already have written and Ka is equal to this C alpha is equal to 1 minus alpha this relation. So this is one equation after dilution this alpha will become 3 times. This is what I have written in the previous equation previous page also. So this the say second equation can be formed then we can use this relation that C1 by C2 is equal to 20 which I already have used in that equation. So by solving we will get the value of alpha and y. So as such this question is definitely 
of moderate to tough standard it's not an easy question ka will remain same we have to think of it it's a very good question from electrochemistry next question is from surface chemistry we all know that the surface chemistry question is going to be factual we should be knowing uh, different statements from the surface chemistry especially statements given in the ncert text which of the following is or are correct surface uh, surfactants form micelles at concentration greater than cmc that is correct concentration required for the micelle formation should be more than cmc cmc depends on temperature that is also correct on increasing temperature cmc first decreases then it increases so cmc is going to be dependent on temperature so that way this statement is going to be a correct statement uh, dependence of cmc on temperature is a bit uh, complicated so we can remember this fact only that temperature increase karne par cmc pehle decrease karta hai then it increases next is micelles are macromolecular solids that is incorrect micelles are made up of different smaller molecules getting uh, let's say getting together or getting uh, let's say forming a bigger molecule so micelles are collection of smaller molecules as such so this is not a macromolecular solid that is incorrect freezing point of colloidal solution is greater than that of the true solution we know that on uh, let's say solution has a lower freezing point in comparison to pure solvent that we already have studied in uh, colligative properties depression in freezing point that's a colligative property true solution generally have more concentration more concentration means more depression in freezing point and colloidal solutions will be having generally having a smaller concentration so these uh, their decrease in or depression in freezing point is going to be smaller so colloidal solution should be have a, should be having greater freezing point in comparison to true solution that should be correct statement from the colligative properties we can say it's a mixture of colligative properties and surface chemistry peptidization is the process of converting colloidal to precipitate no it's the reverse thing precipitates can be converted into colloidal solution with the help of process of peptidization so this statement given is incorrect so we have to collect the correct statements so a and c are the correct statements so this is also a good question from the surface chemistry we can say it is of moderate standard involving some of the facts from the surface chemistry and also some of the application of colligative properties so these were three questions for this session so till now we have produced reproduced almost uh, nine questions from the organic chemistry and uh, this 13 questions from physical and inorganic chemistry side we are working hard to collect the rest of the questions from je advanced 2021 paper uh, this is all for this session thank you